successful fan fest and uh, Marlins spring swing uh, this past weekend. We are happy as you've heard we have uh, hired our president of business ops, uh, Chip Bowers, who joins us today. Uh, it was an extensive search that uh, took four months. Sometimes it feels like it took a little bit longer than four months, but uh, we have got in our mind the perfect candidate. And, uh, he's someone that has a great deal of experience uh, working most recently with Golden State before they built up that championship organization, exactly what we're looking for here. So I'll let Chip, Chip speak for himself, but uh, we couldn't be more happy and excited to have Chip be a part of the organization. Chip, Chip's role as far as how you oversee things now, kind of your power structure, what he means to the organization, what they'll be doing? He means a lot. You know, Chip is, like I said, he comes with a lot of experience, not only in, in basketball, but he's been in previous uh, baseball organizations. Something that will make my job a lot easier. And, uh, we're looking forward to it's going to start March 5th. So we're looking forward to getting him in and, and getting him acclimated with everyone in the organization. And it will take him some time, just like it took me some time, continues to take some time to learn everyone in the organization. But uh, we have the utmost confidence in him. It's a great value add for this organization. Derek, uh, you've had the team, what, five months now, four or five months? Spring training is here. It is. Uh, I'm headed there now, right after this. Yeah, just kind of you your guys feelings. Have to get to spring training. Feelings about actually seeing I'd be players. There now, if it wasn't for you, <laughs> yeah, I should be there already. <laughs> but just kind of your feelings going in now as part owner, CEO, uh, <laughs> just kind of the contrast to what it was like as a player. How? Do, what are the differences? I don't know because I'm not there yet. It will be odd. I, you know, I haven't been to spring training since I was a player. So it will be a little bit different. You know, one of the great things is we've had our captain's camp. Larry Demo brought the group of young players over here to work out at the stadium uh, yesterday. So it was my first time actually being on the field during the batting practice since I was a player. So I'm sure it will be kind of different and odd, but uh, you know, I think it's a better question to answer after we start. So I haven't been up there. You didn't get the urge to take a couple hacks? I didn't, no. I have no urge to swing anything except for a golf club, which I haven't done in a while either. Do you plan on spending much time up there in Jupiter, or do you plan to spend most of your still keep stay down here? I'll be back and forth. It's important for me to be there. I'm, I'm going today. I'll be there for tomorrow for the first uh, workout. I'll be back here, and then I'm going back to the full squad workout. And then uh, we have an ownership group that's going when the game starts, so I'll be back. How would you describe the state of the organization today compared to the day you had the news conference right after you completed the purchase of the team? The state of the organization, and how we're, far in, we're in a good spot. We, uh, you know, like I've told you time and time again, I, I was very vocal from our initial press conference of what the strategy was with the organization, how we're going to move forward, and we've executed uh, how we would like to. There's still obviously some things that we're going to have to change coming from you know in-park experience for the fans. And uh, you know, on the field, we're continuing to look at how we can make this organization better. But we are doing exactly what we set out to do. Derek, you mentioned the in-game experience. In-game is not that far away, at least for this year. What uh, changes, or if anything, have you been able to facilitate a workout or, or, or envision happening in the next you know, five, six weeks before the season? I don't want to make any promises I can't keep. So we're constantly figuring out how we can make the in-game experience better. So we will be rolling those out over the next few weeks. So I I guess the best way to put it is stay tuned. I'd like to tell you now, but I can't because I don't want to have to go back on things because we are getting close to the season starting. But uh, it's been our focal point since we got here, making this a fun atmosphere for our fans to come to and enjoy the experience, not just in the park, but you know, the experience as the fans starts before you pull up. So we are uh, we're constantly trying to make it better. Yeah. Anticipate though that for this year, though, even though you don't nothing. Yeah, there'll be minor changes, but this year, obviously, we're up against the clock. You know, considering when we took over the, the organization, but uh, yeah, I mean, this is something that we're, we have a long-term plan as well. We have short-term plans with the organization, but ultimately, it's the long-term plan. Some things that have changed, whether it's in the stadium or outside the stadium, it takes a long time. Derek, you've hired a guy to run the business side. You have people in place to pick the players and oversee that. So, where's your primary focus? I still make decisions. So, I mean, it, it goes across both sides. So, one thing that uh, you know, I work very closely with Mike Hill and I work very closely with Chip. Um, and uh, we have to make sure that both sides are aligned. You know, in my mind, there's no separation between business and baseball. It's one organization. So, having those two sides being joined at, joined at the hip is very, very important. As far as the 
ownership group. Have you added investors since October? Since October. Or since since you closed on the sale of the team, purchase of the team. We have. Yeah, we have. I don't want to get into any specifics with names because some people choose not to be named. But yeah, we have. How many? Like I said, I want to get into specifics. Well, you mentioned the names. I. Our plan all along was this was a plan that we had all along was to add uh, investors that we felt added value to the organization. Um, you know, this is a well-capitalized ownership group. And also what I said before, if we don't add another investor, everyone's fine. Um, so I don't think that this is a well-capitalized This is not a well-capitalized ownership group. Now, I'm not talking about big ticket items, but there are a lot of free agents out there, guys that could be bargains, guys that could be signed maybe to minor league deals. Could you possibly be in the mix for, for some of those since there's so many names and the prices are going down? We're always going to make the organization better bottom line, but we're not going to just, just make decisions off the cuff. You know, we have a plan, we're going to stick to that plan. Mm -hmm. and that plan is to build this organization from the bottom up, and that's from player development and scouting. So we need to add players to our organization, which we've done. We've added 20 plus players um, since uh, July. So this organization increasingly improves the, the talent level, and that's how you're going to turn this into. Has the analytics department changed at all in the five months that you've been here? We are. You know, it, it, it's something that we are investing money in, is the analytics department. It's, it's, very, it's, it's one of the things that's priority to Gary Dembo and, and the player development side of the organization, and scouting as well. So, yeah, we will add money into it. Derek, what kind of response have you gotten? You've seen you out and about at business meetings, meeting with people locally. What response have you gotten from local business leaders, potential investors, things like that? Contrary to popular belief, we've gotten a very warm welcome from uh, individuals and corporations who have reached out and said they want to be a part of this journey. Uh, so I know I think the narrative sometimes can take a turn to negative, but we've gotten a, a warm reception from people in this community. And uh, I spent a great deal of time getting out and meeting a lot of people a lot of leaders in this community, and uh, you know, they're all been very supportive. What kind of team do you expect to see on this field? A competitive season? team. Bottom line, we're going to compete. We're going to have people on the field who are professionals. They're going to handle themselves in a first-class manner. They're going to be accountable, and they're going to compete. You know, it's, it's, I think it, you know another thing is there's this narrative that uh, we accept losing or we're willing to accept losing. That is not the case. We're going to put players on the field that are going to work hard, and they're going to compete going to handle themselves in a professional manner. So we're excited the spring training is going to start. And, and trust me, you know, over time, the, the fan base here is going to appreciate the players. Derek, having said that, how's your patience? Because you came from an organization where when you look rookie year, you were, you were winning from the get. Uh, I'm learning patience. You know, one thing in, in when you're competing, it's especially in uh, you know this sport, it's instant gratification or, or disappointment. But I'm learning that uh, you need to have patience when you're building something. But having said that, we want our players on the field expecting to compete, expecting to win. Previous team ownership and leadership planned a number of <laughs> tributes, permanent tributes to Jose Fernandez. Where do things stand along those lines as far as potential statue, number retirement? Yeah, we've like been that? in contact with, this, with Jose's family. And uh, you know, we understand that it's a tragedy, obviously. It's a tricky situation because, you know, lost their lives, but uh, we are in constant communication with the family. And we want to honor Jose and what he's meant to this uh, organization in the near-term future. But uh, you know how we do that is still up for discussion. You're going to have a, a facial hair policy, obviously. Well-groomed. So they'll be allowed to wear well -groomed. beards and mustaches are OK? Yeah, as long as it's well-groomed. You were with the Yankees. They had a pretty strict policy. Yeah. They've had one here in the past as well. I mean, is that just sort of, is that your kind of idea, it's okay, or? Well, I think you want people to, to look professional. I think if you look professional, you act professional. I you know the Yankees, obviously, uh, you weren't allowed to have any facial hair, with the exception of a mustache, but, uh, you know, I think you, you want players, you know, they're, they're individuals, they have their personalities, you want them to be able to uh, represent themselves and their families and the organization, but you want them to do that in a professional way. <laughs> and notice I haven't uh, said a word about it publicly. I've read that I've said a lot of things and what they think that they want to happen. But, uh, you know, we're constantly looking to how we can be part of this. What do you think of it? What's that? Well, what's your opinion? It's big. Yeah, it's big. <laughs>
How? Do you like it or not? What's that? Do you like it or not? I mean, it's it's unique. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a unique sculpture. Um, but like I said, it's we're having a dialogue. And we're, we're trying to figure out any ways that we can make this in game experience. How would potentially removing it make the in game experience you, better? You may not know me. I don't. I don't comment on speculation. What about? You can't uh, trick me. In. <laughs> Not trying to trick, just trying to get something to write about. <laughs> right, go to spring training and write about the players. Planning on. There we go. What about, uh, they kind of went with this retro thing with the 25th anniversary for that yeah. weekend. Is there any thought at all about maybe going permanently back to the old original colors? Uh, no, nah, well, I mean, we are moving forward, too. You know, we, it's, uh, we're just getting started here. So for us, it's, it's uh, moving forward. And, and, yeah, we recognize the history of the organization. It's been 25 years, and this is an organization that won two world championships. And we want to recognize that this year. But you know, we're also at the same time looking forward. Derek, what? you took over to the Marlins. I think you reported in Sports Illustrated saying you didn't think you'd be trading Stanton and all those, or you didn't hadn't decided. I think was the idea. Mm -hmm. Actually, I said that we planned all along moving forward with him. Okay. What changed to make you trade them? Well, what changed, um, you know, he didn't want to be a part of the organization. You know, he had preferred to be moved. Um, so I think that's what changed. You know, obviously having a no-trade clause, uh, it's entirely up to the player. So uh, before we had the organization, we, we were planning on having him be a part of it. If he said he wanted to be here, he'd be here? <laughs> if, 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 it's over with. That was the story it was three months ago. We're moving forward with the players we have. What are you most proud of so far, four months in? I think how we've re-engaged with the community. We've re-engaged with the community, we've re-engaged with our partners, um, and people are, are giving us an opportunity. You know, that I've said it all along, we want them to be a part of the journey. Obviously, there's been a complicated history with the organization, but I think people are excited about us moving forward. Derek, with pitchers and catchers reporting tomorrow, is there a sense now that it's baseball? baseball season now. Yeah, finally. You know, the off season seemed like it went quickly when you're a player. This off season has been a long one, so I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, spring training. Have you yeah, had talk a about to look at uh, um, the policy regarding the retractable roof and when it's open, when it's closed. Do you have any thoughts about Yeah, I'd like to that? open it more. Okay. I would like to open it more. I mean, I think, you know, you, when you get into the summer months, it can be kind of hot. It rains quite a bit, but I think especially early on in the season and late in the season, I think there's an opportunity to open. How about day games versus night games here? We looked at that, what they've done in the past, and midweek day they, games. They, you know, they didn't have it open. Uh, don't quote me on the number, but I think it's maybe only six. No, but I just mean as far as the number of day games that would be played here. What's the question? Have you looked at the schedule in the past? Do you have any thoughts about changing?